According to the Big Bang Theory, 13.8 billion years ago, time, space, matter, energy, and everything in between began. The building blocks of everything we see today burst into existence. By using our high-powered space telescopes, we have been able to see visually stunning regions of the universe, from enormous clouds of gas where new stars are being born, to ancient, chaotic environments where supermassive black holes lurk. The universe is full of extraordinary sights, but what about the sounds? Because it's not just images we can explore, we can also listen to the universe as well. My name's Rob, you're watching V101 Space, and if you enjoy my content, then remember to subscribe for much more to come. Before we listen to these cosmic audio clips, let me quickly explain a bit about how the sounds were captured, because you would be correct in thinking that sound waves cannot travel through space, at least not the way we experience them here on Earth. Sound waves need a medium to travel from their source to our ears, and when we peer into the darkness of space, according to our senses, it appears almost empty. However, this doesn't mean that space is silent, because it is actually filled with all kinds of different waves that we cannot see or hear, but that our powerful telescopes and spacecraft can pick up, including radio waves, microwaves, X-rays, and many others. And so by converting this type of data into sound, using a process called sonification, we can experience the universe in a whole new way. The first of the five audio clips we will listen to reveals the sound waves of the early universe. A time before stars or galaxies, when everything was just a hot, bright soup of thick plasma. During this bizarre time, sound waves shook the infant universe, triggered by fluctuations happening just moments after the Big Bang. As these sound waves propagated through the young universe, they left imprints on the matter and light, much like patterns made by waves on the surface of a pond after a stone has been dropped into it, for example. These patterns were imprinted as slightly brighter and darker patches in the light, and by mapping this ancient light, ESA's Planck Space Telescope can essentially see the sound echoes of the early universe, creating this bizarre sounding 13 billion year old pulsating hum. The next audio clip comes from one of the most mysterious objects ever discovered in the universe, a supermassive black hole, an enormous gravitational monster that is so powerful not even light can escape once it has crossed the event horizon, the point of no return. And amazingly, we can listen to the environment surrounding one. In some ways, this sonification is unlike any of the others, because it revisits the actual sound waves discovered in the data. Astronomers found that sound waves sent out by the supermassive black hole 250 million light years away caused ripples through the hot gas at the center of the Perseus galaxy cluster. These sound waves were extracted from the data captured by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and made audible, allowing us to hear the almost eerie, intergalactic howl of a distant, supermassive black hole ringing throughout the universe. Throughout the observable universe, it is estimated that around 2 trillion galaxies exist, all made up of billions and billions of stars. 
Our star, the Sun, is obviously the closest to us, and so is our best example of what these enormous balls of hot glowing gas sound like. Over the years, many spacecraft have studied the Sun, but the one that has got the closest, and so the most exciting data, is NASA's Parker Solar Probe, the spacecraft that touched the Sun. The whooshing and whistling noises you just heard are the pressure waves from the hot, electrically charged particles in the solar wind that is radiating out of the sun's wispy outer layers. Called whistler mode waves, they are caused by the energetic electrons bursting out of the sun's corona, the outermost part of its atmosphere. When converted into sound waves we can hear, it resembles a chaotic roaring or a screaming hurricane. It is said that on average, every star in the Milky Way has at least one exoplanet orbiting it, and there are an estimated 100 billion stars in our galaxy alone. When we look out into the observable universe, we see billions of other galaxies that are made of billions of other stars, and so the universe is likely teeming with all different types of planets orbiting those stars. According to NASA's Exoplanet Archive, however, the most common type discovered so far is Neptune-like. To get an idea of what these exoplanets sound like, we can listen to the plasma wave data captured by the only spacecraft ever to visit Neptune, Voyager 2. Neptune-like exoplanets are worlds with atmospheres dominated by hydrogen and helium, but that are about the size of Neptune or Uranus, also known as ice giants in our solar system. The other worldly audio clip you just listened to are the sounds of complex interactions between the charged particles of the Sun's solar wind, which we heard earlier, and Neptune's constantly changing magnetosphere, the region around the planet dominated by its magnetic field. The result is a bizarre, almost lonely groan. You might think that the vast space in between the stars, called interstellar space, is completely empty, a void of nothingness. But it actually contains vast quantities of spread out dust, gas and cosmic rays. And thanks to NASA's Voyager 1, we can listen to what this strange, lonely region sounds like. Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space, leaving the Sun's heliosphere, which is the bubble of solar wind surrounding the solar system. The recording reveals the sound of electromagnetic waves oscillating in the plasma that fills the space in between the stars, and the sounds of charged particles hitting Voyager's instruments. Like the ocean, the interstellar medium is full of turbulent waves that are caused by things like the galaxy's rotation, supernova blasts, and other stars for example. These crashing waves can help reveal clues about the density of the interstellar medium, and even our own location in the galaxy. 
By listening to these almost eerie audio recordings, we can get a glimpse into the sounds of the universe that we cannot see or hear with our own senses, confirming that space is anything but a silent void. With the help of powerful telescopes, spacecraft and other advanced technology, scientists are constantly collecting new data on these sounds. Who knows what other wonders of the universe we will discover through sound in the future. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then tap the like button, and if you haven't already, why not subscribe? There is plenty more to come. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.